Hello everyone, this is Rand here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Filled Kirken map. Just unloading our combine here. I haven't uh, really done anything off screen, so. Once he's unloaded, hopefully we will hire him. Yeah, looks like he's done. And let's give Auto Combine a try, see what's what he does. Let's, um, let's try it round and around the field mode. Let's see what that does. Something looks a little weird with those red lines there. Interesting. Anyway, this should be full, so we'll go sell this. Uh, not quite, but close enough. Also, I did remove the wither wheels from it, so I should be able to drive through the crops now. Yep, wither wheels are gone. Wait just a minute here, see if he has any trouble with these rocks. Okay, nope, he should be good. He's turning around on the field. Perfect. Okay, let's get this puppy going here. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. We're all the way up to six. Gonna end up uh, disastrous. And it would have to be somebody coming one there. Uh, of course. And then I killed it. Kind of cool. You can actually hear the keys going in the ignition. And And one of these days, I am going to buy a small implement and park it up somewhere down this road so the cars can't go past. That's my uh, method for dealing with the traffic. That and just, uh, you know, playing running them off the road, but maybe that not using the road. Oh, someone just had a bad day there. <laughs> Seen their life flash before their eyes, just like that. Okay, make a quick run back to the farm. Assuming no other vehicles get in our way anyway. Yeah, 
And on the way back to the farm, I want to see if we can hook up one of our trailers we have. Hopefully the uh, Kloss one, I'm thinking. I think that would uh, match the best with this particular truck, but find out. At that point, then, we can pretty much double our uh, how much we can hold, then. Where did I park? Ah, perfect. It does connect. Okay. This should make things even more interesting. Actually, I could probably actually course play it now. This technically has a trailer on the back. I wouldn't think uh, course play would give me as much trouble as it did, you know, because I didn't have the right trailer type, supposedly. Apparently, uh, course play doesn't like, you know, the all-in-one unit. Oh, he is full already? Wow. Oh. Better hurry up and get over there, then. Make sure we uh, avoid that uh, disaster there with that uh, Don Chopper. Probably end up crashing our game. Let's see what's over here. Whoa. Where is he? Down there. Well, where the wheels are gone, so I can cut across the field. Oh, come on now. Okay, now you can shut off. I'm surprised he's actually still going yet. Hopefully he will uh, keep working. Okay, let's uh, finish up cultivating this field here. Let's see here. I don't have a whole lot more to go. Yeah, it looks like I do have it set up with a GPS mod. Okay. And yeah, obviously I now have this field all one field. I didn't uh, keep it split up like it was before, so we'll have to uh, find something to plant in it. Probably do... Probably need some straw, so I'll probably do wheat or barley of one of those two. I've got quite a bit of canola planted at the moment, so... Then we just got another two passes probably left to cultivate, and we'll have this field done.
It's one of the things I actually like about uh, more realistic. It does make a difference if you have your implement in the ground versus not. Actually, looks like they need to adjust this a little bit. The back discs aren't in quite as far. And I would say the front ones are in probably a little too far. Probably actually depends on the tractor, maybe, because it is a three-point hookup here with this disc. disc. So... Okay, there's that field done. Interesting, our John Deere combine is still empty. Why is that? Pose them in the way here. Hmm, apparently, okay. That was interesting. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring uh, fuel out to him pretty quick as well. Seven percent. Oh boy. This has kind of been uh, my, or become my parking area down here. Okay, let's, uh, I believe this grass field is ready to go. Yes, it is. So, I want to get some grass mowing so we can finally get some mixed rations and stuff going for our cows. For that, we're going to need... What are we going to need? Tractor first. This guy happens to look handy, so we'll use him. And I plan on uh, course playing this, so... Probably not all of it, but uh, definitely... Probably the mowing and... Tedding part of it. Okay, that looks like probably about as good a place as any to start. And I'm not going to get real close to the edge here. I'm going to hopefully leave a little bit of distance and hopefully course play won't have any trouble with that then. I may uh, fix that and you know, plow back over that and see if I can actually get that all planted there. Looks like I must have missed a little bit there. Let's see, leave him. Watch that kid around that rock there, that could be annoying. And 
the sh then just aim for the start point. Okay, let's uh, see what's here. Let's grass field one outline. We'll call this grass field two, and technically it's two and three, so not too far off in calling it that. And then obviously you don't need it on this tractor, so we'll reset that. We'll grab our mower. That is not the mower. That's the mower. Oh yes. Manual ignition. And noisy start. Okay, let's see what's here. First, we need to load the outline. Uh, that was weird. I guess it loaded it. Not sure what that uh, blinking and flash flashing was about. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. This would be... Let's see, we're on this corner. That is probably southeast. I'm just going to guess. <laughs> And we want to go north. Uh, do I want a headline? Yes, I do want a headline. One lane before. Turn to first part. Point. Nope. See, everything else should be good, I believe. So let's gonna set that to that mode. And I'm going to save it as grass field two mo. Actually, I could probably use this course for multiple things, so that should be all set. Actually, maybe it was not all set. Let me save that again now. Okay. Grassfield 2, Mo. Let's, uh, where's the start point? I think I've seen a point around here somewhere. Uh, looks like it disappeared. Uh, set him at the first waypoint, then he'll at least start at the beginning. Okay, I'm just guessing here I probably didn't get the uh, corner right. It's always kind of hard to tell, too, when you do a headland like this, because that does uh, turn the uh, start-stop start, yeah, start points around sometimes, so I may have the right corner, it's just it decides to start in another corner. It looks like he's going to the opposite corner, though, so I'm guessing I probably do actually have it wrong. Just guessing. Uh, where's our combine? He is full somewhere. Probably up over there somewhere? Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. Looks like he's actually doing surprisingly well. I thought he'd uh, kind of mess up with the uh, round around the field mode, but... Oh, crap. I think we went airborne. Yeah, we might have a problem now. <laughs> Can't zoom out either for some reason. Well, that's weird.
Yeah, I think we're stuck. Uh, apparently that's what happens when you make a turn like that. Okay, I'm going to have to reset him as well. Yeah, obviously I wasn't in the outside view, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but I'm pretty sure we went airborne because I didn't have any steering at all, so. Apparently gear six might be a little fast for the field. Can't imagine why, but. Yeah, as cool as what the uh, gear changing is, it can be a little annoying. Especially the uh, placement of the gear five and six on the keyboard. It, it seems to me it'd work a whole lot better if we could find a better... And yes, I know I could change it. I'm just not sure what I'd change it to, so... Uh, I think I see some old grass there, so he must be working. Okay, must have been this uh, corner up over here. Must have been the uh, considered the southeast corner, I believe I chose. So I probably should have gone with northwest, maybe. Just guessing. Anyway, doesn't really matter that much for this field. And I want to uh, let's grab. Ah, uh, sure, this guy. Why not? Uh oh. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but our uh, John Deere combine has ran into a little problem from the looks of it. Now, that's a weird looking seat. Too busy looking at the seat now, watch armor driving here. Oh, jumpy today. Okay, let's uh, see what's here. Uh, sure, we'll grab this guy. Okay, so I was planning on doing more grass mowing this episode, but I uh, haven't got too much of it yet so far. For one thing, that combine's been filling up way faster than what I thought it would. Okay, hopefully we can make it out with these doors here. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Something's sticking through the uh, barn wall there.
Okay. Apparently I need to get a little closer, yeah. And time to fill up our thirsty harvester again. This has to be the most uh, refueling I've ever done on, like, any vehicle, like, ever. Other than maybe, uh, was it more realistic, I think? Was there... I'm trying to remember what vehicle it was now. I know there was one more vehicle that was, like, really bad. And our mower is destroying some of the grass it mowed from the headland. Oh, well. And now he's stuck. Oh, shoot. I thought I made that far enough away from the... waypoint this time. Hopefully that'll be here. No. I still filling up yet, my goodness. Okay, exciting episode here, folks. We've been uh, refueling our combine. And we're still refueling our combine. And we're still refueling our combine. Combine is finally full. And on that note, folks, I think we better actually call it an episode. So, yeah, folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. We'll hopefully come back next episode episode do some more harvesting and actually get some work on the grass this time hopefully so if folks have any comments or questions be sure to leave them below as always thanks for watching till next time ah oh, man there goes the fence again oh well